Good morning guys and thank you for watching ASFN Fishing again and yesterday we're going to do a very interesting bait but first I want to just thank all the guys that's supporting our channel the ones that's subscribing, the ones that likes the videos and please subscribe and like the videos it really helps the algorithms of YouTube for us to grow and make and bring you more videos uh, like I said in previous videos we've done this for 15 years where we share everything to get you the best possible results we don't keep back on information in fishing as all of you as anglers know getting area specific information or uh, methods or baits that really work is not as easy as what we as anglers would like it and that's the objective of the ASFN fishing platform is to build that library with comprehensive information on everything guys we've got a thousand six hundred videos already we make a minimum of five videos a week so make sure every day at 10 o'clock we upload and in the near future we're going to add some very exciting facets of angling and methods of angling to the whole bouquet. Okay guys, now the bait today I would like to share with you guys is one of my favorite and most effective scratching baits, especially when looking for those bigger, nicer edibles on the Mozambique, Zululand, coast and will even work on on many other areas in your reefy areas where you're fishing for for bigger edible species and uh, even on sandy areas um, most fish will pick this up the purpose of this bait and let me explain why it's my favorite is in most parts of this coastline we've got peckers which we call peckers or refer to which is smaller fish that picks away at your bait and uh, quite quickly cleans your hook up now there's only really one effective bait to overcome this uh, properly and still get bigger fish to pick up your bait and that's octopus. Octopus is the base bait for anything really if you want to fish through those pickers and target bigger fish. It's a very underestimated bait. The guys in the Southern Cape, Eastern Cape will tell you as well it's a go-to bait for cob, for the duck bulls and anything a very very good bait in general. Now this is the Atcan Marine uh, bait, which uh, pre-packed and comes into South Africa. You can find them in most of your tackle stores. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you guys the basic principle of this bait. You can vary it in several ways. Now the whole thing is to create a bait where the pick is still creating a bait with a lot of smell, a lot of cloud in the water that lures in anything quite quickly. But when the pickers reach it first and hit away at it, um, that's normally when your bigger fish will come into the area, have a look at it and wait to see what happens when the pickers hit it and he'll bully them out of the way or grab it or when they leave the parts they can't get to, he'll grab that which is your bigger part of this bait. Now let's just start, I'm going to take one of these legs off and uh, just quickly clean it. You cut it into the body here, okay, look at that, that's actually the eyeball that came out, beautiful. Just cut a leg off, all right, and then I'm going to put the rest of the octopus away. There I'll show you guys some other baits we'll do um, as well with the octopus, really popular bait. So when you're at the beach, you can use sand to, to actually scratch the skin off. These ones from Abcan, a lot of times you can just grab the skin and peel it. Okay, so you separate the skin literally from the nice white fleshy part. You grab it bits by bits and just work it off um, as much as what you're going to need. Now you can get two, three baits out of this. You can fit it to the size. You're going to tie like a prawn combination bait will be a thinner, smaller one you can use. If you put more foam on or you want to fish a bigger bait for a speckled snapper or a rock hard, or any of those species, you'll use, this, use the top part or you can split the top part in halves so that you can use two baits out of it. You can get quite far with one octi leg. All right, so I'm gonna use the thick part so it's easy to show. I'm gonna use a single j hook, how we would tie on that. When you buy those curlers for the dangles, you'll find these little pins, plastic pins in there. Um, ideal for, instead of a toothpick, to hold your phone. Okay, you stick it from the back to the front because I'm gonna put my foam on the back. So to get a nice sharp edge on that, you cut the back off all right and then foam just to build the body of your bait depending on how much you need when you're fishing in reefs and you're fishing for a rock hard you still want movement 
but you don't need to get it that high up you need to get it off the bottom like this floating around to draw the attention of any any of the fish in the area uh, to see it easier which helps with the movement the reaction bite as well as the the smell and flavor and I'm just shaping it a little bit put it on the hook and that we're just going to fit on the hook like that that pin will hold it okay let's just grab the cotton there it is okay and you secure your foam to your hook you zigzag it over that little pin to hold it a bit stronger and onto your knot several turns onto your knot which will hold this nicely onto the line Okay, once the foam's on, I'm going to put the rest of the foam away and then I'm going to measure how much I want to use. Okay. I split this halfway. Okay, now that, there's a lot more flavor on the inside of this because it's got that little protective skin now you see what I'm doing I'm making little slits in it right through so that folds it open nicely it makes it quite a bit thinner and much easier to work with okay and then your bottom part now your hook I'm gonna put there so I want the tentacles and you can choose if you want four or two the enormous two as a thick piece so I made four of them Okay, and then you'll just stick your hook in there and don't beat this. You want this to stay solid. There's enough flavor on that inside that you don't have to beat this bait with a chocker hammer. You can just fold it around like that. It forms a nice, nice solid bait as you can see. And there's a couple of guys here with the wheat eaters working so I'm working on time until they come around again and, and make too much noise for us um, so you just stretch that nicely around the foam the pin in the front's holding the the octopus onto the the foam as well which is nice and in the back here where you're gonna tie your your add-on bait you leave a bit of foam and that allows you to tie the octopus to the foam so it doesn't shift in a cast or when the bait or the fish hits it hard that it doesn't shift it off the foam or <laughs> down the foam or up the line so you secure it nicely right guys and that's it that's the base bait now you can add anything to this this is such a lovely bait for stumpies all the edible species uh, from two kilos up this is a lovely lovely bait even the smaller fish but the small fish won't get your bait off they'll hit whatever you put on the yeah? and in this case I'm going to do a red eye and uh, obviously everyone knows scratching here in Zululand coast the Natal red eye is deadly but everything loves it and everything will hit this so from the smallest picker to big sandies and honeycombs will not hesitate to pick this up all right now you take that belly part and you put belly out on the back of that bait and you tie it neatly to the octopus so all that flavor will be in your water it will call all the interested species closer to this bait the foam will give it a bit more movement so they can see it the smells out the octopus smells out there the smaller fish is not taking the octopus off the hook or even damaging it and a fish that's big enough to be able to swallow that will grab it pull you flat and uh, bobs your aunt that's what you want ah, so very quickly I didn't tie it too neat this uh, belly the, the red eye belly you can remove those gill plates as well all right okay so it's got all that smell it's got the body bait and when this is picked off you've still got that lovely octopus bait flying around so guys that's it that is one of my favorite favorite baits all around scratching baits for edible fish on the north coast zululand mozambique and any of those areas thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe hit that subscribe button and, 
and hit the like button if you feel this bait can work for you. And guys, don't forget to send us photos and results when you use some of the baits or methods we show you guys and it gets your results. Send that to grindelite at asfn.co.za. Thanks and see you soon.